We're about to go <laughs> live. Here we go. <clears throat> it is coming up on 810 News Talk, Saga 960, Raw, Mike Richards, David Bastel. And the one thing I've always said is the greatest people in the world are born in Newmarket. This is uh, go through. <laughs> Look at the people. Look at the people who've been born in Newmarket. I, it wasn't Connor McDavid. Wasn't he born in Newmarket? I think I believe Sounds he was. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, this Mike Richards, where was he born? Newmarket. You're welcome. Uh, also, where did Mike Richards go to summer school? That's right. Huron Heights. Two years in a row. Newmarket. It's, it's the town of championships. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and now Ty Collins born in New. Of course he was. Good morning, Ty. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing? Well, uh, you know what? Doing good, but maybe not as good as the Steelheads. Uh, nice season uh, that you're having. You guys seem to you, – you got it together. What, what can I tell you? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing pretty good. We've been rolling us late, and, uh, yeah, we're hoping to continue that in the, into the playoffs, hopefully, and have a nice long playoff run. So that's our goal right now. So hopefully we can uh, accomplish that. Absolutely. Uh, we should tell our audience, too, that uh, the Steelheads have a couple more games coming up before that Christmas break. So uh, you're in Hamilton tomorrow night uh, for a seven o'clock start uh, there and also back at home on the 17th. Probably mean a lot to you guys to kind of finish off this first part of the schedule leading into your short break uh, on, a, on a nice two game winning streak. Hey, Ty? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Those are uh, huge games for us too, as because if you look at the standings, those two teams are both have had uh, both ahead of us, and uh, we know they're good teams, and we might be playing them in playoffs too. So, you know, our goal is to go into the into the break on the CHL top ten list. So, I think if we win those two games, we probably have a good chance of that. So, yeah, we're looking to get that done here coming up. Now, when we talk to your teammates, um, and they generally say similar things, but when you look at how this season is going and the success that you're having. I mean, it's never a perfect season. And certainly before Christmas, usually there's still things that you believe that you'll do better. For you, what is it? What are the things that you still think when you look at it, when you're going to improve? Where is it? Uh, I think for, for us, it's playing a full 60 minutes here. Like you looked at the other night uh, against Kingston, we kind of came out flat and, you know, they put up five goals against us. So I think we got to work on that. And then, you know, sometimes in the third periods where, where you can get a little sloppy and let them kind of get back in the game. So I think if we clean that up, then uh, we'll be a pretty solid team. Yeah, absolutely. Ty, let's talk about some of your background. As you mentioned, as Mike mentioned off the top, new market, born and raised, uh, played your minor hockey uh, in the areas. And so you get drafted by Guelph uh, in 2018, but you make your way to the Steelheads. What's going through your mind? And I'm guessing off the top of my head, that might have been the biggest trade of your lifetime unless something happened in, in, in minor hockey where you where you left uh, uh, clubs and so forth. But uh, as far as publicly, Guelph to Mississauga, what goes through your mind when you get traded at that age? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, you know, going to the OHL at a 16-year-old and then a 17-year-old getting traded was pretty pretty wild. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really expect it or anything, so... Uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Then, like going to a new team, it was it was good. It was a good opportunity for me. You know, all the guys on the team were really welcoming and uh, wanted to have me there. So, you know, it was real. They made it really easy on me and Jr. and Jeff and Brendan all made it super easy on the on the transition. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Do you do you expect it at the time? Did you hear uh, inklings of it, or did this just catch you off guard and went, okay, I'm now living in Mississauga? Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like. I was out for ice cream with a couple of my buddies off the team at Guelph, and then <laughs> my uh, my agent called me and said there was a trade that was probably going to happen, and so I was just at school the next morning, just kind of like texting my dad, just like seeing like what's going on, like is it going to happen, is it not? And then eventually, I was like first period in English class. They, my uh, I forget who called me. I think it might have been my dad. My dad called me and said like the trade was done, so I had to like leave the school pack up all my stuff and it was pretty wow. crazy like I was out of there I was out of Guelph within like an hour like I didn't even get to really say bye to like all my teammates just the guys at school because the guys weren't there yet at the rink so I had to go to the rink pack up all my stuff and then I was on my way to my saga well crazy. and see that's that's the thing Dave <laughs> but you're right like at that age like what is it look when you're a pro when you're a man and and you go okay you're now going to st louis you're now going to chicago you're going to wherever you're like yeah okay well i mean that's the business of uh, of the sport but at your age if someone says oh by the way you're being traded the first thing that i'd be thinking of is well why yeah <laughs> I, I do something wrong you don't like me 
you, you don't like the jokes? The impressions aren't good? Like, uh, uh, what's the problem? You must have had a little bit of a, you know, a personal thing where you're, it's, it's a little more difficult when you're that age. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's hard because you're just a kid, right? So you don't really know, like, why it happened or whatever. You just try to make the best of it. And, you know, I looked at it as a new start in Mississauga. So it was good for me, I thought. Well, now, you still probably... I mean, because you talk like it's always great when you have a family that's supportive, right? When you can talk to a mom, you can talk to a dad, you can talk to a brother. Uh, sometimes it's an uncle. I mean, people have different situations, but it sounds like you get a lot of still great guidance and, uh, 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 you know, good information and support from your family. Yeah, for sure. They're always there for me. And, you know, it's kind of nice to have them to rely on and people I can talk to every day. And, you know, they can just give me advice and just keep me going. So, O2, uh, you're playing with York Simcoe, uh, a teammate of yours, which is Quinton, Quinton Byfield, who is a, a pretty good prospect for the LA Kings. Uh, what was that team like, and, uh, and what do you remember about that year? Yeah, that was, that was a great year, you know. All those guys on my team are probably still some of my best buddies now, and, you know, we hang out every day in the summer, and, you know, Quinton lives right down the street from me, so we spend a lot of time together. Yeah, But, yeah, we were a really good team, like, if you look at that roster, there's a lot of players that have made it past minor hockey and are either in junior or pro now. So, yeah, we were a good team. We were really close, and, you know, we accomplished a lot of a lot of great things. Now, at, at six feet on this team, what are you, the shortest guy? Like, what? Six, feet is, <laughs> is, is six feet is good, but on this team, it's like, well, let's give it to Shorty. What? I'm six feet yeah. tall. Not on this team. <laughs> I know, I know. I sit by like I sit by the defense. So okay, you I don't want to do that. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm right beside the D. So I have uh, Bjork McComb like, beside me, who's like six three, six four, and then Casper F. Larson beside me too. So <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, our our team's huge this year. That's funny. That's funny. It's a it's a monster monster defense and and a very good one as well. Uh, Ty, tell us about uh, your younger brother. So we we might be seeing another Collins. Uh, in the system soon tell us about tate and uh how how close are you with your brother considering that you guys both have very busy schedules obviously you're not living in the same house anymore right now anyway uh but uh obviously little brother wants to follow big brother's path yeah yeah he's uh he's doing pretty well he's playing for york simcoe too so you know i go out and watch some of his games whenever whenever i can and they've got a pretty good team and he's having a little bit of success but yeah i'm pretty hard on him because i like to I like to give it to him a bit if he's if he's messing up or if I see something, but I don't know. I hope he takes it as a kind of a pointer. Just just because I'm hard on on him doesn't mean like I'm not supportive of him. But uh, yeah, he's doing well, and you know I like to I like to help him out when I can. Well, you should start every sentence with, "Well, what I like to do," <laughs> see, because it's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> you know when i'm playing with the steelheads all right ty take, we're just opening christmas presents don't be so annoying <laughs> well the way i like to open christmas presents <laughs> well uh you know as i said uh you certainly have the right attitude the team all has this and uh there's a closeness to it i mean um you know uh it's funny talking to your teammates they talk as much about what they do off the ice you know kind of how you guys hang out i mean I'm not saying that it's it's a rarity at junior hockey that you get close, but this team seems like really close. Yeah, yeah, we're super close. Like we probably hang out like every day after practice, and we're always doing stuff. Either going to the mall, going to the movies, you know. Going the other day, we all went out and watched uh, Nisa's little brother play hockey. So that's kind of that kind of shows how close of a group we are. There's probably like 10, 11 of us there watching a minor hockey game in Mississauga. So. Very, yeah, we're a pretty close-knit group, and I think that leads to having success on the ice. Very cool, very cool. So your game on Friday uh, concludes this part of the schedule. A lot of people call it the halfway break. It's not quite the halfway break, but there is a little bit of a break there because you do get 12 days off. Uh, what are your plans over that Christmas uh, break, and, and are, are you going back home, or what? Uh, what's on the agenda? Yeah, I'll just spend a bit of time with my family, and then uh, we got family down in London too, so we'll probably go down there for – for a day or so and yeah just, just hang out with my family relax a bit and then uh, get ready to go for the second half here now that's interesting too because you know when you grow up in ontario and 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 i talk about this depending on the part of ontario if you're gonna play junior hockey sometimes you do see yourself on a certain team and it's usually based on 
you know, other family members, guys from your own town, the teams that they played on in junior. Like I always wanted to go to uh, the Peets. We, I lived in Stovall, Ontario, and I just thought that I, I would uh, be a Pete. When you were growing up, uh, it's having family in London. Was it, were, did you see the Knights in your head or, or, or did you not have any of those kinds of thoughts? Um, yeah, kind of like I go to a lot of, uh, a lot of London games just cause my grandparents live down there. So they'd usually take me out whenever I'm down there. And then I lived in Huntsville for part of my life too. So the closest oh. to there was, was, uh, Barry. So I used to go to a lot of Barry games too. But, um, when I came to Mississauga, I remember watching a couple of games there too. And I love, I loved how they played and some of the players they had. So. Yeah, I didn't really picture myself on any team, but those are probably like the three teams I watched the most growing up. Uh, back to your family for a second. Uh, how often uh, is uh, are, are the folks uh, able to watch you considering that it's still drivable, but you know it, it is a little bit of a hike depending on where you are playing. But as far as the home games are concerned, how often are they able to catch you live? Uh, usually one of them comes to every home game and then um, my brother plays on the same nights most nights. So usually they kind of just split up and one goes to my brother's and one goes to mine, but they're pretty good at trying to come to uh, every game. And then on the road, our schedule isn't that bad for traveling this year because we don't yeah. go to the States or the Sioux or anything. So they're usually at every, every away game and, you know, they try to make, they have, they have friends everywhere. So they kind of just, you know, see if they can see one of their friends and bring one of them to the game. And then they hang out after if it's far like Sudbury or North Bay or something like that. Oh, well, that'd be, that'd be cool living in Huntsville. <clears throat> like I, I love cottage towns, right. And, and normally it's a very brief, but a place like Huntsville, uh, like for years uh, in the day, they had really good hockey too. Now, I know it's more regional now. So you play like in central Ontario or you play, you know, they, 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 they it's rarely you play for a town anymore. But did you play hockey up there? Were you old enough to play hockey? Yeah, I played hockey. I think I was, I moved in minor Adam. So, you know, I went to, I went to Rama to play AAA there. But yeah, like the hockey there was pretty good. Like when I was younger, they had a junior A team, which was, you know, to me, that was, like, pretty good hockey. They get pretty yeah. good fans there. But, yeah, like, I uh, I started there in minor hockey, and that's kind of where I started out, so. Let's talk uh, Let's talk crackers right now. Uh, on an annoyance scale, one being not really annoying, ten being super annoying, where does he fall on the <laughs> Ty Collins scale? Uh, I don't find him, like, that annoying, to be honest. Really, like, eh? Because I got hmm. him at 11. I got him. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, I don't really find him like that annoying, but <laughs> so he probably wouldn't be that high on the scale. Well, I don't know. He starts telling these <laughs> stories. Maybe about during ping pong. During ping yeah. pong, he kind of gets <laughs> a bit annoying. He, he thinks he's a pretty good player, but then I, I was going to ask you: is he is he a good player or not? Because he talks uh, a big game. Yeah, he ta he talks a lot. Like I remember, like when we first started playing, he just be the only one yapping in there and like saying all, <laughs> saying all these crazy rules and all this stuff. And then when he actually got on the table, he wasn't that good. So <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. It was at Western Michigan. He went to, cause then he was telling us, Oh yeah. And then when I played quarterback there, okay. Crackers didn't play quarterback. <laughs> no. And when I invented the donut, that's why I like the plain donut because the plain donut, it was the first one I invented. Okay. Crackers. You didn't invent donuts. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of that. Well, um, look, best of luck uh, with the season. As I said, um, you're, again, as Dave said, it's not quite, you're not halfway there, but it's just, you know, yeah. that's how you're in, in your mind. You, you get the Christmas and so on, and uh, you get a nice little break, as you said. So you'll spend it, you'll spend it where? So you, your parents still in Newmarket? That's where you, you'd be home Yeah, Christmas? Newmarket. Yeah, Newmarket. Yeah. Newmarket, I got I got to break in here. Uh, I always love dating girls for Newmarket. Love the Newmarket <laughs> girls. Yeah, really, I did. I yeah, there's something about it. That, am I wrong on this, Ty? There's, there's, there's nice oh. girls in the market. Yeah, yeah, they're not bad. I'm dating a girl from Barry though, so. I, oh, that's okay. North yeah. is good. The North yeah. girl is good. Yeah, just don't get them. Just spouse. yeah, d yeah, and don't get them mad. The North girl, because you know, <laughs> a North girl can look after herself. That's all. That's all I know. Well, look, yeah. hey, you have yourself uh, look a great Christmas. Uh, congratulations on what has been a very successful first half of the season, but. Uh, the beauty of it and when you have a, a coach like jr he just you just want more like you, this isn't like well you know we we can kind of rest a little bit we've had a nice first half i know that you probably really want to go after it in the second half of the season yeah 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 for sure and jr yeah you said it said it how it is you know jr doesn't doesn't let us uh you know think we're think we're good and think we're think we're done with what we're doing you know he always wants more and he always demands like the best of us every game so that really helps us and motivates us to 
you know, push ourselves and give 100% every time we get on the ice. He does the same to us, too. Like he's not <laughs> even in broadcasting, but sometimes he'll stay on after and tell us what we did wrong. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, slow down, slow down. Yeah. yeah mm. That's funny. He's also got stories I don't believe, too. So, uh, look, we uh, – <laughs> hey, we wish you all the luck. Thanks so much for this morning, Ty. You take care. And uh, hopefully in the other side of the season, uh, we'll get a chance to talk to you and your teammates again. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, guys. That is Ty Collins from your Mississauga Steelheads. It is uh, obviously a Tuesday, so it is Meet the Steelheads. Had another great time as we always look so forward to talking to the guys.